Hi, good morning or good evening to everyone. So today's our topic will be about the basic components of an GUI system in a Windows operating system. So, so far you have seen a couple of videos about an introduction to computer and what are the different kinds of computers we have and, and what are the input devices, output devices of the computer. Now let's understand the basic components of a GUI system. So in in the previous videos you have seen so we can connect to the computer based on the command uh, mode or an, a graphical user interface mode. So this video will be showing you what are the basic components that are used in GUI system. Okay, let's talk about this. The first uh, the first comes into the picture is the desktop. It is the area of the screen which displays the various components of GUI. It is the starting screen of the computer. So whenever you turn on the screen, sorry, whenever you turn on the computer, that is the first screen you see is the desktop. Okay, menu bar. It will show the various menu options when we open any file like uh, Word, uh, PPD, etc. Then we will find this menu bar. So there are several set of applications that are available on these computers. So each application will have an option called menu. The example I'm saying is a word pad or a PPT. These two applications are inbuilt provided by the Windows operating system where you can enter your text. Okay. In earlier days we used, you know, if we wanted to enter any text without computer, they used to have a typewriter. On the typewriter they used to insert the paper and then they used to type it, right? Now, after the invention of a computer, so the uh, the topic which we are talking about the Windows operating system or the Windows computer, so every if we have several application where we wanted to store the text. So Word is an uh, Word is an one application, MS Word is an one application where you can store the text. Notepad is another application where you can store your text. You can store any information, uh, either it can be related to your personal data or either it is related to an office data, whatever other information you can store it. So each application will have a menu option or a menu bar is provided where it will uh, it will be showing you several menus. How to open the file, open a file, open icon will be there, save a file, save icon will be there save as save as icon will be there same like when we enter into the restaurant he will be providing with you a menu it's common with every restaurant so either it can be a chinese rec restaurants or mexican restaurants or indian restaurant so whatever it is so so they, they will be providing the menu option right so in the same way we have this so windows uh, GUI operating system has various icons on the desktop. These are enclosed in a frame called window and this is called as a window. Window separate one group from another group. So if here the windows is nothing but uh, as, as I said desktop is an area of the screen which displays various components of the GUI and this uh, place uh, for example this is the desktop so when you have when you open when you when you log on to when, when you connect to your computer so this will be the first screen that you will be seeing okay so when if you're trying to open any application or a menu so then it will be it will be opening it in a new uh, in a window called as a new window for example let me try to open some application called as a ms office excel okay so this will be opening in a uh, one window this is called as a one window okay as I said uh, in in this so there will be a several menu options or the menu bar provided side these all nothing but it's a menu option so where you can see a standard icons and also let me open a notepad so yes, this is another window in this way you can see several or a different kinds of windows and you can see a file or uh, edit mode and everything so here you can type the text welcome to computer uh, basic tutorials okay so in this way you can uh, store the data okay let's go back to your slide so windows this is about the windows and the menu the most common way to interact user with GUI is to use the menu option menu holds a list of commands that usually related in some way okay what are the menu options we can see Menu uh, options displayed when users select the menu. 
dialog boxes it will tell the program exactly how you want it to act dialog boxes contain different choices like radio button checkbox etc checkboxes user need to check or select the options as per his choice list box it, so it is like a menu list uh, that contains more than one option by using the scroll bar or you can see them by the set properties option radio buttons when only one option from group is to be selected then this option is in the form of a radio button text box to where you can place to enter the option is called the text box control menu every window open in the environment has a control menu maximize minimize and close option okay so here is an example example so how do I represent the list box so this is a list box where when you click on this so it will open you a list uh, you can see the radio buttons here so see you can uh, this icon is called as a radio button and this is called as a text box where you can enter a text and this is called as a dialog box so where a set of messages will be displayed and this is called as a check box and this is called as a command button so these are the several options that will be common throughout this course or throughout this computer and whatever the application or whatever uh, it, whether it is a notepad or MS Word so you'll be seeing all this button so we have to understand what is a list box what is a radio button what is a dialog box what is mean by a check box what is mean by a command button and what is mean by a text box so this is very 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 important for the beginner to understand all these different menu options thank you so much for watching this video I will be coming up with more and more couple of basic tutorials